What surprised me the most is how good healthy food can actually be for you. Growing up in the Bronx, you never really live accustomed to eating healthy foods. Well, they came to my school and they gave all the kids a demonstration of what it's like to be in Sylvia Center and how it's good for healthy eating. After that, I signed up and in February, we started class. Okay, so let's talk about fresh food. What does fresh food mean to you? Um, I said to you. Grown locally. Grown locally. Um, food that's unprocessed. Food that's unprocessed. Good answer. Moody. Fresh from the farm. Fresh from the farm. I love it. Okay, so today we're going to be working on a couple of tea sandwiches. There are many sandwiches that kids usually like. We're going to work on that today along with a watermelon aqua fresca. How does that sound? That sounds delicious. Oh, are you guys excited? Yes. And let's get started on practicing some knife skills. I really hope that these teens lead healthy and happy life, and I emphasize the word lead. It's not only for themselves, so but also for their families and their communities. I care because I'm a part of that community, and one of the main reasons why I wanted to teach within the Sylvia Center was because I saw the great need of someone teaching the community how to eat better, and I think teaching these teens and having those teens in turn teach younger teens, I think it's very impactful. What's the difference between whole grain and white bread? Well, whole grain, it's much more healthier for you, and it's not, course, like, course. unlike the white bread. White bread is the flour's process. My name is Halima Morega. I am 17 years old. I've been working with the Sylvia Center for two years. We don't have that much food rights if we really think about it, like, especially in the area that we live in. We live in an urban area that's already, like, within poverty lines and stuff like that. So, like, it's, like, sad enough that we can't even eat healthy because, because of the economy itself. So kids would think that it's okay to eat any junk food and stuff. And now is the perfect time to teach them. This is what you're supposed to be eating. This is what you're supposed to tell mom. Like, I'm, I want to eat healthy. The most rewarding aspect of teaching is seeing the transformation with all these students. You have students that came in very introverted and very shy and uh, not wanting to like taste food. And then to see the full fold of how they develop and uh, now they're confident people who can talk about and to healthy food. My name is Bernie Jarina. I am 16 years old. I am a teen apprentice at the Sylvia Center. I find that in New York, there's a lot of obesity going on. So to teach kids about like healthy living and how to eat healthy, it can benefit and it, a lot of kids can be more healthier and live healthier lives. It is a great benefit to have the teens teach the youth in our community, not only because they're teenagers, but also because they're from this community. So they have a lot of um, similar backgrounds and experiences that they're able to share with our campers. If they don't have it here, I don't think they'll have it anywhere else, unfortunately. Uh, so having the opportunity to expose them to a, a simple, very simple recipe, but yet so rich uh, on a weekly basis is very gratifying. So hello, Group A. Hello, Brittany. Brittany. So today we will be making tea sandwiches with cream cheese, with bell pepper, green onions, and cucumbers. Yay! Yay. So does anybody like Cucumbers? No. no. Me. Why not? I like, I like cucumbers. I like cucumbers. Why don't you like it, Kelly? They're too seeded. Well, too, today you might change your mind seeded. about it. My name is Dante Bailey, and I was born in the Bronx. It's a very different experience for me because I'm not a very outgoing person, nor do I put myself out there. And this is something out of my comfort zone. Listen up, listen up. Guys, what is this? Bread. What, what kind of bread is this? Cornbread. Cornbread. No, not Wheat. cornbread. Cuddle. I heard it from back there. Wheat. Wheat bread. Why is it because so healthy for you? 
I'm Isis Tosona, I'm 17 years old, I'm, I was born and raised in the Bronx and my parents are from the Gambia. During the first day of cooking class, like, the kids like, they were like, they wouldn't really want to adapt to trying new food, but then as the program became, um, like went along, um, kids started eating. Like we had this one little girl, she would not eat the food at all, like she would not eat nothing. But it's towards like the end of the class, like she would try the food, which is like surprising because she never tasted nothing before. Now, when the teenagers present this to them, it, it, that fear, it's not there. It's kind of like invisible. The Civic Center like helped me like, um, want people to like experience new things, like make them feel good about themselves. Like that's what I have in mind. Like I don't know what I want to be, but I just want to be like a change maker basically.